Yesterday, a hearing took place in a Missouri courtroom to consider Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey's lawsuit against Planned Parenthood for trafficking minors out of state to obtain abortions without parental consent. The allegations stem from a video recording that shows a man asking how he could take a 13-year-old girl to another state for an abortion without her parents finding out. A Planned Parenthood employees walked him through the process on camera, explaining they provide such services every day. Join me now to break down yesterday's hearing and explain what comes next in the effort to eradicate Planned Parenthood once and for all is Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey. General Bailey, welcome back to the program. Thank you for having me on. So uh, the, the biggest defense line I saw yesterday from Planned Parenthood is it said, well, this was all fictitious, therefore it didn't happen. But they well, that certainly yeah, that certainly was not the tone and tenor in the video. Agents of Planned Parenthood were bragging about committing this conspiracy to conceal criminal offenses, uh, sexual assaults against minors, uh, criminal offenses like all altering writings uh, by taking off letterhead to obtain consent under false pretenses or deny parents uh, the ability to consent uh, to trafficking in minors out of state for abortions. And so, uh, you know, th there's a presumption in the law that people don't brag about crimes. Why would they do that? That's why there's an, uh, an exception to the hearsay rule for statements against interest. And that's exactly what we see on the video. Agents of Planned Parenthood bragging about criminal offenses. That alone indicates that they've done it in the past and a willingness to do it in the future. Well, it also would sound like to me a conspiracy to commit a crime. That's exactly right. And what's really frightening here is that, again, you've got a, a purported 13-year-old who comes in. 13-year-olds uh, can't uh, consent to sexual contact in the state of Missouri. So this was a sexual assault committed against a minor, a criminal offense. And the clinic was a mandatory reporter. They had a duty under the law to notify law enforcement so they could investigate this crime. And if you look at the reaction of the agents of Planned Parenthood in the video, not only are they willing to conspire to conceal that offense, they don't fulfill their affirmative obligation to report this offense under the law, they laugh and joke about it and brag about how they do this every day. Uh, let's, uh, let's unpack that for just a moment, General Bailey. So th this was brought to their attention, it, whether or not they didn't know if it was real or not, they thought it was real. But if someone came in trying to facilitate an abortion for a 13-year-old, you're right, that triggers the law. Would they not then be required even to follow up, even if they don't have names? That's exactly right. And look, this is uh, no different than when you've got uh, law enforcement agents online posing as minors to uh, determine whether or not there are sexual predators that are that are perpetrating against minors. This is no different. It doesn't matter that in this instance, uh, it, the, the individual was not actually a 13-year-old who was pregnant. What matters is that these individuals admitted to past criminal behavior and evince a willingness to commit crimes in the future. So Planned Parenthood asked the judge to dismiss your lawsuit yesterday, saying that there was no evidence that we broke the law. What happens next? Well, the judge took the case under advisement. We'll issue a ruling in the coming days or weeks, but we're confident in this lawsuit moving forward. Again, the video speaks for itself. That is evidence of the organization's willingness to uh, violate the laws of the state of Missouri to do so willfully and knowingly. And it shouldn't surprise anyone. Look, Planned Parenthood has a documented history of willful violations of the health and safety laws, the parental notification laws, uh, the record retention laws of the state of Missouri. My predecessor, Josh Hawley, exposed the fact that uh, Planned Parenthood was using a moldy abortion machine on women. We're not talking about a machine that sat in the corner and they forgot to clean. We're talking about a machine they were actively using in the destruction of human life. My predecessor, Eric Schmidt, revealed uh, through his investigation and lawsuit against Planned Parenthood that the organization's physicians were not providing the proper notification to the, the patients about the risky nature of the procedures they were performing and not retaining uh, documents required by law. So anyone who thinks that Planned Parenthood is a, a legitimate health care organization sh is deceiving themselves. They've demonstrated a commitment to the destruction of human life over the health and safety of women and children. Of course, they're now transitioning as well into uh, transgender um, manipulation of, of children because that seems to be where the money is now. 
Yeah, that's right. I mean, again, when my office launched an investigation in February of 2023 into a clinic in St. Louis that was mutilating children using dangerous puberty blockers and, and cross-sex hormones and irreversible surgeries for children under 17 years of age, uh, the clinic in St. Louis, we called for a moratorium. They de declared that they were the only clinic providing those kinds of services in the state of Missouri. Subsequent investigation revealed that wasn't true. There was a shadowy and clandestine network of these clinics, clinics to include Planned Parenthood. And when we began uh, our litigation against these clinics and the legislature began enacting a statute to prohibit these dangerous uh, mutilating surgeries, Planned Parenthood accelerated their processes and tried to recruit more clients. They wanted to hasten the assembly line of destruction of human life. General Barrett, let me ask you a question because you, you are aggressively pursuing this and, and you're not giving you know any safe harbor to Planned Parenthood and to those who would abuse children. Is this happening in many parts of the country because government is turning a blind eye? Yeah, for far too long, Planned Parenthood has gotten a pass, and that makes no sense to me. Again, the laws of the state of Missouri matter to me as the chief law enforcement officer of the state, the chief legal officer of the state. And so, you know, when you've got an organization that repeatedly and willfully flaunts its violation of, of those statutes, health and safety statutes that matter, again, to, to patients that think they're getting health care, when in fact the uh, organization is pushing an ag a social agenda ahead of the health and safety of, of its patients, that, that is troubling. Final question for you, uh, Attorney General Bailey. When can you ex do we expect to hear something from the judge? How long might this take? You know, it could take up to a month. I doubt it'll take that long. Uh, we anticipate within the next two weeks we'll receive an order. And, you know, either side can appeal. But uh, at the end of the day, this litigation is not going to be over with this decision. My my guess is that the and my expectation is the court will allow this lawsuit to go, go forward and we'll get into discovery. And we will root out these pernicious efforts by Planned Parenthood to undermine the laws that are designed to protect the health and safety of women and children. All right. Well, General Bailey, we look forward to an update uh, when you hear from the court. And again, we appreciate you protecting the children and pursuing those who would exploit them. Thank you, sir.